Stacy invited everyone to the late post victory party at her place this Friday. Cool. Weird that she told me this at the at the hallway herself. <laughs> the sudden act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen. But think of it as a self-conscious beauty queen like Stacy would love showing up how tolerant she could be. I would prefer celebrating quietly in my room, but since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would be sort of rude of me to not be there. He was nothing but nice to me since I met him, so the least I could do is show up. <coughs> Cheers, bro. <sighs> plus, plus, I could probably witness the face Stacy makes when she sees I actually had the nerve to show up. Just maybe, just maybe, I could even piss her off if I managed to strike a conversation with Brian. An Omega hanging with out with an Alpha. Kyle would be busy comforting Stacy, fuming about how I messed up with her ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam. Just a clean, just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian. What could possibly go wrong? Die. It's an option. Like staring into closed eyes, I could never know if B knew I was looking at him. Did he know I was there? Maybe he knew, but simply didn't care. The only thing looking back is my decay and sanity. I wanted to look away so much, but what's the point when the stench is still there? I started to think the only way to get B's attention was to throw myself off Colton Hill. Oh. How did I come so low? All I wanted was a chance to show how I feel about B without any noise getting in the way. I still had a I still who could have had some peace with Brian despite all the shit I had to deal with. Brian was super likable. Everyone liked everything about him. They couldn't stop smiling when Brian started talking. The smiles I gave him made me, made me want to puke. They smile as if their relationship with Brian mean much more than the one I have for it with B. Are you telling this? This Brian and B, right? And yet I was the only one left with a broken heart when he left Rosen Peak. B was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. Uh, B needed to be a fucking model student, not thing says pick me to college admission like a spotless student record. Okay. What the? What are you doing? Hey! 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 Are those syringes? <laughs> Okay. Suicide suspected and death of missing teenager. Oh no. The girl 17 who was found dead at Colton Hill likely ended her own life, police says. Oh no. Sam Holt, a transfer student of Wayright Academy, had been reported missing for six days until Rosen Peak authorities discovered her body in the forest. Oh no. Oh no. Due to days of heavy rain around the time of her death, the investigation of Miss Holt's death faced a few challenges. However, interviews with school faculty members and students led to the possibility that she threw herself off the cliff of Colton Hill after months of rejection from her peers. Oh no. Oh no. She was rarely seen with others, says one of the former teachers. She was even publicly humiliated just before her disappearance. It must have worse as the tipping point of for her. S Rosen Piccoli says the fall did not kill Sam instantly. It is possible she gasped for air through her broken neck before it. Oh my god. Wayright Academy now faces a suspicion of neglecting its students led by the mother of. Of course you now feel guilty. 
Oh fucking course they know. Oh my god. Oh man, everything is going wrong. All my senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. The pain only escalated the moment Brian texted me. You feeling okay? I was not okay. And why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from being quiet to crazy happy and cute. His words, not mine. Real quick. I was so close to being the center of the party that he had to bring me back to the dorm. Why can't I remember any of them? Congrats, Sam. You have reached a new level in life. Shit. Is this it? Is this how I die? I sincerely asked Brian if there was a good place to kill myself. He said, maybe now is a good time to show you my secret hideout. What the, what the, what the fuck? Since I passed the test by showing the whole school a different me. That's not how you reply. Jesus. Hydration. Yeah. Is he seriously going to take me? To this Golden Hill hideout. Tomorrow, I'm going to be. St I'm going to the so-called most romantic place in Rosenbeek with Brian. Oh no. Oh no. In Rosenbeek, uh, there's something in my head that's keeping me awake. It's not Hangover. What? What were? No. Nobody. Nobody home. Are these pencils or? They're pencils. They look like syringes. I, I guess I can check with it. Ah, yes. Wait, oh. Is it bathroom? Oh, yeah, I'm leaning away. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hi. Oh, f fuck. No. Hold on. Hold. Okay. Okay. I'm, 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 uh, come on me. Come, uh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Come on me. Come on me. I'm ready. I'm ready. Fuck it. Fuck me up, Sam. Fuck me up. Come on. You can do it. You, no, no you can't. Oh, you. Yeah, you can't. You coward. I'm not. I'm gonna get a push, aren't I? Oh, I get a push. <laughs> they are syringes, actually. So, saw it up close. Yeah, they're, they they were look. Yeah, they're syringes. Just keep reading. Let me read. I'm, I'm, okay. OMG. Brian actually took me to the Colton Hill. <laughs> the hideout Brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town. The whole place under the golden sunset. <clears throat> the best part of this spot was that I, that is quite hidden and unsafe. You could easily roll down the hill if you are careless or <laughs> And no one could find you for days. How awesome is that? Being drunk with that wonderful moment didn't cause any accident though. We sat there for less than an hour until I felt like an, an eternity. I can't even remember what we talked about. I do remember saying how beautiful Rosenbeek is and Brian being all meh about it. I guess you could get fed up with views like this too. Today's only regret is that I failed to bring the true essence of the hill's view back with me. There's a reason why I gave up f photography as a hobbit in the first place. At least the close-up shot of Brian was not half as bad. When I came back down from the hill, it became clear that my life just became a bit more messed up now. I know, because I really want to talk to Brian again soon. 
Help me get to sleep quickly today, diary. Love, Sam. What the f- What the fuck did you draw? What, what the fuck did you draw? Brian's secret hideout, a close call to hill hiking route discovered by himself so he can hide from the world around him. Not as not a flashy place, but it had a great view. What the fuck is that, Sam? All the life's problems you like, Jesus. I wish it could be our special place. Ours and ours only. <laughs> Alright, comrade. Colton Hill is nothing but a rock pile of blood soaked memories now. Why did why did he give me why did he have to break my fucking heart? Was I just one of his many friends? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why he wanted to leave me even after I told him he won't be together we won't be together anymore. He thought he was too good for Rosenbeek and me. To him, I was just a background in his picture. I'm ready to move on. You fucking bitch! Can I, can I keep reading? No, where did I come from? Yeah, you all have crushes, Sam. You need, really need to grow up. Don't tell me it came from the bathroom. Don't tell me it came from the bathroom. From the bathroom, you don't deserve a face. I don't have one. I don't. I, I don't even have a reflection, woman. <gasps> what do I do? You don't deserve a face, I know. Oh, you're gonna do that trick. You're so gonna do that trick. I fucking seen this trick in a dozen movies. You know, you're so gonna do that trick. The book report was finished days ago, but I can't stop thinking about being called. Mostly because my stupid brain thinks I'm so psycho. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> stop. Camera. Thank you. Please, please, just stop, 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 stop. stop. They were a little filthy. Can I keep reading? How will you remember how to take a picture? Are you fucking... Are, are you going to do this to me? Yeah, you are. Oh, thank you. Oh. We're doing this. We're doing this. Yeah. I just wanted to read. 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 I can even read that. Can I read it? Please, let me read. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read that. There. The book report was finished days ago, but I can't stop thinking about Minkle. <laughs> Mostly because my stupid brain thinks I'm sort of like the main character, Jenny. To summarize the rest of the book, Jenny goes on this jealousy feud sabotage rampage on every girl who has a crush on Michael. I know it sounds horrible without context, but it's actually kind of cute. She finally stands on top, but Michael finds out that what she's done. He breaks Jenny's heart, saying he can't be sure of who she is anymore. Things work out in the end, but that's not why I sympathize with the dorky psycho girl. Brian is just like Michael. Popular, has killer biceps. <laughs> she's horny. Has killer biceps. <laughs> Busy hanging out with people. I can't see when, <laughs> what he wants because all of the noise around him. I know he wants to go to college, but what What about beyond the boring stuff? What kind of person does he like? What does he think about me? He told me about his mom, how she died of cancer last year. It must have been so hard trying to look in, 
look okay in front of everyone who's depending on him. I sometimes feel like he can't see me because he's so busy trying to meet everyone's expectations. I know how those around of, around us can be hurtful and it's dangerous to rely on them so much. I just wish I can tell Brian one day that I'm I'm here for him. Honestly, yeah, it's like Heather's musical. Oh. Brian got what he wanted in the end. He left Rose and Pig as soon as he was given the chance. As for me, I was left to suffocate in the hole of tainted memories until I drowned in my own endless nightmare. Jeez. Ah. Every day, every night, I'm surrounded by whispers. Whispers that lie. Whispers that eat away my brain piece by piece, no matter how I try to. How I try to look, try to see, try to put my hands over my transparent eyes. J just do it. Oh god, I hear them again. Um. Are you in a healthy relationship? <laughs> Take this quick survey to find out. No. Okay, I can't say no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, how do I roll, please? One must take as much as one gives. Mm. No. No. Obsession is a stronger form of love. Um. No. No one can have what you can't. I mean, debatable, but... I'm gonna go with no. Do I go with no? I'm gonna go with no. B never love you. Oh, okay, that's that simple. It only it, it, it only says no. Because you are a selfish little shit. I mean, sure. All your problems are caused by you. Okay. It's all your fault. I mean, I could say it's my fault, but you're you're not giving me that option. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. You said the song. <laughs> You're serving us all lies. <laughs> Are you in denial? Are you regretting? Okay. <laughs> or maybe you forgot who you are. Hey, someone's ca someone's calling you. <laughs> it's you. No. <laughs> oh, you're gonna kill me for that? Each ship goes. Oh, Sam. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Let me read now. <sighs> Fine. Can I mute you? That's a no. Okay, thank you, I'm done. <sighs> It's getting worse. The fucking shithole town that felt disgusting crack in my heart. And it's getting bigger and bigger. The voices I hear from the crack are getting louder. I see more and more eyes staring at me through the gap. Miss Leslie gave us an easy poetry assignment. For once, she said it's okay to make a parody of the classics as long as we stick to the A B C B pattern. So I took deliberately of get letting my imagination go A B C berserk. <laughs> you clearly are a child. Here's a slight taste of my early work. Roses are red, violets are blue. My life would my life would have sucked if it wasn't for you. I guess. Could have waited for Brian to ask for my help with homework again, but I decided to make the first move this time. And guess what? He said he can handle it alone. Call me paranoid, but I'm worried I might have heard Brian's right. 
call me Sam Spear or is it Hot Spear? Jesus. Uh, that's what happens when Sam opens her idiot map or uses her idiot brain. Oh, Bart. Okay, got it, got it, got it. P.S. I have decided to carry my diary in my bag. The doors in the girls' dorm are way too easy to open. Not as easy as Stacy, though, if you know what. Oh my god, you. We get it. Stacy is a slot. We get it. I even saw one of the girls using a notepad to crack her door open. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> that's a fun imagery. Besides, I have this weird hunch someone's been reading my diary. I have decided to not ignore this hunch. Ooh. I'm Brian, right? I'm j I j I maybe she died. I just had I kill her. She died, or I have a diary. I'm Brian. I have the diary. Okay, but why am I getting separate notes? Yeah, she called me out. Through the gap. Okay. When I ran out of places to run, I had only one solution. Now my memories are scattered all over the dark. No, I must look for them. You want me to? You want me to actually look around? Because I don't wanna. I still have the camera. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Keep me forever. I was by the window. Put that down. Put that down. Okay, I guess. I'm not in a way. What does that say? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, I guess. I indulge your case. Cool. What, what did it say? I don't. I don't see what. Just eyes, okay. I fuck this. Oh, I want me closer. <laughs> I cherish your smile. On the floor? Looks on the floor. No. My door? Closer? No. Where now? I got ceiling, a bathroom? Cower. Excuse me for being a cow. Okay, not here. I'm missing something. Oh, up, up there? No. Fuck this, dude. Fuck this. Not in the club. What, what the fuck? Uh, here? No. Floor? I don't get it. What else do you want me? What, what? <laughs> there it is. Be my endless sun rays. Jesus. Okay. Oh, I have to put them together. Kellen, help me rhyme. A, B, C, B. I cherish your smile. I indulge your gaze. Be my endless sun rays. Be my endless sun rays. Give me four. There we are. Okay, um... With Brian preparing for a rematch with the Hammerheads, I once again gladly gave, me, gave him a hand with the non-important homework stuff. I must say, the teachers here don't give their poor students a break just because a test is over. 
It's not like I'm burdened with helping out, but Brian is really trying hard to get good grades from what I heard. He doesn't have much to worry about going to college since he's practically a local football star. Maybe his pushy police chief dad raised him to be an overachiever. It's funny how a model athlete like Brian got friends like Kyle, who always find excuses to pull him out of school. It's unfair really. As long as you are a sports star, you'll end up with douches like him no matter how nice a person you are. I don't speak with Kyle much, but I don't need to talk to know what he is like. First of all, his girlfriend is freaking Stacy. Oh, god. Disgusting. <laughs> the stare he gives me when I pass by is enough to creep me out for the whole day. It would be it would be lucky if Stacy didn't come along and start yapping about how Brian is out of my league. She has Kyle to play with, so why would she even care? Like, ask your boyfriend out for a drive. Gee, <laughs> have a nice life with him, so Brian can say it out of the poison he does not deserve. Nobody's home, would you mind fucking off? Thank you. Do I need to fucking look at him? Thank you. Okay, looking again. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Amazing. I wake up without waking up. Same rainy night, my life shut the fuck up. My lifeless room, endless nightmare. Hello. Dash <laughs> slinky slash. <laughs> Are you gonna call again? Jesus Christ, just hung up on you. You're so annoying, you know that? No, no. Oh. Uh. It's in the house. Keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. Oh, I cannot. Are you in the bathroom? <coughs> you're in the bathroom. Oh, you're gone, I bet. Fuck you. Ooh. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. The call is going right inside the house. <laughs> Oh, fuck this bitch. Fuck. Oh, it's... Survey girl. Immortalize. What do I do with this? Discover your potential with your... With an early admission program. We are waiting for any hardworking and career-driven individuals. What do I do with you? Okay. Oh. What did it say? What the fuck are you smiling? Hate that, 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 hate that. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Why? <laughs> Why are you doing that? 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 Why are you
<laughs> Why did you leave so much? I guess so fucking <laughs> Oh god, bad touch. Bad touch. Bad touch. <laughs> Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! I'm ah, here, I'm here! I'm safe. Where am I? I can't take. Oh. This is for B. The pussy out. Push the shutter. Dude, okay, jeez, okay. Oh, that was B. Or me. Am I back? I'm back in the bathroom, right? Okay. You're nothing but trash. Yes. Yes, girl. You belong here. Oh, gladly. Gladly. Can I have... Thank you. I was going to say, can I have light? That's something. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Fuck you! I think... Okay. Okay, it's re kneeling really fucking good. Just... Like... Creeping me out. But the... The, like the game over scenes don't just there's a well, hey I was gonna read that oh you're there yeah I was gonna say like the jump scares or quote unquote the jump scares like the game over thing like the heart or that mouth thing anyway <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 let me let me no! Ready, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, there. That was faster. Okay, the ah, I got it, got it, got it, got it. I know how to do it. Even if I die right now, I know how to do it. Leave, 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 leave. Okay, click, 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 click. Ah, ho. Damn, man. I really am trash. Look at this. Look at this. I, I'm. <laughs> look how I sleep. Jesus, dude. You really are trash. Not like an insulting way, literally. <sighs> okay. There was a consultant session for Green Heart University student program. They called it GUSP. Look, what the fuck? At the gym today. I have seen its posters all over the school since the day I arrived. I had nothing better to do, so I decided to give it a visit and spend my precious after school time reading brochures. And once again, just like at the library, I was surprised to see Brian there. He was at the early decision program booth. I wanted to talk to him, but instead I ran up for my room, jump into my bed. And out of nowhere, tears start to drop. <sighs> I bet it, be it was because of some stupid hearts. Yep, I saw the house hearts again. Now they were in the chain walls too, because whoever drew them 
must be very insecure about the relationship. Insecure like me. Deep down, I know I want my own hearts on the walls too. But, be, but seeing Brian at the university booth felt like finally getting punched by reality. Ooh, sorry. I have no idea what I'll be doing in a couple of years. I thought of staying here at Rosen Peak, but with Brian preparing to leave, there's just no point to it. No Brian, no hearts on the wall. God, it's like my brain's creating a storm. I'm just gonna lie down for a bit. Hopefully, I'll wake up next week. Damn. My life is nothing but a repetition of waking up with nothing to live for. Not even a false hope to look forward to this time. Long time when I finally got to accept my feeling for Brian, I thought everything was going to change. But every day was still just like every day. He was still a school star, I was still his friend. When you live in Rosen Peak, people expect things to stay the same. People expect things to stay the same. If anything changed between us, it could ruin B and everything around him. I'm, b I'm, I'm, I have eyes on that this fucking bitch messing with my house. I have eyes on her. You hear me? You hear me? This entire mess is mine. If anything changed between us, could ruin B and everything around him. So that's how it went. Nothing changed when my whole world burned. I keep telling maybe after graduation I'll be able to express my feelings for him. Let the fire in my heart eat through my soul and body, call myself a coward, but I choose to keep what little I had to enjoy. I was a poor kid crawled up in bed. You know, you know one thing? We never saw any signature in this journal. Like, sure, we read all of this, there are, we clearly see art from Sam but this it's just it doesn't have anything it doesn't say Sam it, does, it just keeps it just says Brian or B no other name her <laughs> she for fuck's sake woman poor do I really deserve that shadowy title am I really the victim of all of this who is here to judge anyway? It's all over. Everyone left to me. So why do I have to feel like I'm being chased? Like someone's always watching me. Like someone's always trying to judge me. Oh, I have a, have a, have a text. How did the invite go? She, she in or not? Oh, she's coming. Dogs like her can't say no to the part like this. Sweet, time to give her the drama she wants so bad. <coughs> this is in. Why am I talking to Stacy? I know I use half of this diary writing about Stacy being a bitch, but now she's just unstable. It wasn't even past the first class when I saw her arguing like crazy with Kyle. I heard her shouting something like, I'm done with doing shit for you before storming away. Then she saw me. I was her next target. She strutted towards me and said, this is all your fault. Why don't you go back to fucking San Diego? Oh, what did I do? <laughs> she was soft before I could even open my mouth. I turned to Cal for answers, but he was gone too. Come to think of it, I rarely saw them hanging out recently. But I didn't know things were this intense. Brian's been acting weird too, though. He, was, he hasn't talked to me much recently. He even looks somewhat upset than usual. Oh, sorry. I finally tried to ask him what was wrong, but he cut me short asking if I called him last night again. All I could give was a blank face until Brian said never mind and walked away. What was that about? What, what, did, I, what did he mean by again? Calling him in the middle of the night for no reason is something I had dream of. But that's some that doesn't mean I actually did it. What the hell is someone else? Okay, but Okay, this diary says he called. She says she didn't. This is someone else. It's because of her the moment 
she came into our lives what little I had to enjoy started to crumble all the bad changes happened in my life no matter how hard I tried to protect it a silly girl just asking to became an outsider that was all she was to me hell that was all she was to everyone else even to me but then I saw them talking at the library I couldn't see but I could know it's from B's face he was making her smile it was another smile taunting my feelings for B. No one would ever know what kind of emotions I was hit in at that moment. Okay. If I'm talking to Stacy on the phone, if Sam didn't call, never call Brian. My Kyle. That's the only character. I'm surely not a teacher. It's the only. All the, uh, it's the only other character I was mentioned. My Kyle. <clears throat> oh shit, my voice. Getting more water. Hold on. Hold on. Let's process this. Whew. Uh, This isn't Sam's journal. This is Kyle, apparently. Maybe. A change was happening, and I didn't like it at all. Stacy didn't like it either. There, there we go. And she could never stand letting an easy social prey slip away from her. Naturally, Stacy took a peek into her diary one day. She took pictures of some of her entries and sent them to me and her gang. She wanted everyone to join her in the twisted and childish game. I... Yeah, this is Kyle. This is in Sam. The diary had no special meaning to me. Not until I read about how Brian took that Wow. On a fucking tour of the town. He had no interest in girls whatsoever and suddenly now he's hanging out with an outsider? You tell me he's. There's more trash bags by my door now. You tell me he's gay. He had no interest in girls whatsoever, and suddenly now he's getting over the At that moment, I got tired of doing nothing. I knew I had to do something, so I gave Stacy an idea. It was going to be an easy spike, their drink. Oh, get her wasted and humiliated the shit out of the circle in front of everyone. Please, Brian, be gay. Please be gay. Please be gay. <laughs> <laughs> the big biceps need to be gay. <laughs> Only then she knew she would know her place. Kyle is. Oh, that's a better pick. Yeah, maybe it's mine. It could have been so simple. Only if B. B. Oh, yeah, there you go. B for bye. <laughs> Only if B didn't get in the way. What did you say? I was hoping to do nasty stuff to her drunk ass. Still can't believe Brian had to take her away like that. You need to be just like Sam do make some people feel sorry. She did mention something about her dad in her diary, but she has some nasty daddy issues too. Yeah, I'm Kyle. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe Kyle's a very jealous bisexual freak. Got an idea? How about we show everyone how needy be a need, needy a bitch can be? Jesus, Kyle. Sounds fun, but how? Leave it to me, just keep reading her diary once I walk. Uh oh. 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 Oh shit. We eat hammers for breakfast and drink their tears to wash them down with gold golems. <laughs> Is that Brian? Yeah, and that's Stacy. <gasps> what? what were you doing? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> can I not? Can you don't? Can you? Oh, oh, oh. oh no, no, no. Okay, but what was my character doing? Jesus Christ! He was just. <gasps> there, there was just. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna say what it was, but I just heard a lot. <laughs> the diary had no special meaning to me. Not until I read about. Okay, that I read that. <laughs> Don't do that, Jack. Fuck off. <laughs> this is what it. This is what it is. I don't even know how to describe what happened this morning. This is fucked up. My hands are shaking again. It started when I opened my locker and something poured out. 
For a few seconds my brain was cut off from whatever was happening when I finally looked down there were dozens of pictures scattered on the hallway floor. All of them were pictures of Ryan, whichever is written on them. The whole school was at the hall. They looked at the pictures, then at me, and then at the pictures. Brian was there too. <sighs> Brian was there too, the face he gave me. The face of disgust. He turned away and left. He didn't even see a thing, anything. I tried to chase him, say something, anything to him, but the floor started spinning and people started whispering like they knew what was going on. The hair soon began to choke my throat. I swept what was on the floor and ran after class. Of course, Stacy might have something to do with this. I looked for her, but she was nowhere to be found. The rest of the day was about nothing but avoiding eye contact with anyone. I can't sleep. Brian's not answering any of my texts. There's no one I can talk to. B, B, B kept saying nothing was going on between them. Lies. But I wasn't about to believe everything was just rainbows and butterflies. How could you lie? What the fuck did you do? In my eyes, Sam was using Brian to feel her sad empty life. I couldn't let that happen. She wanted drama. She didn't deserve it. She doesn't deserve shit. She doesn't get to barge in and start stealing the life I only dream of. Are you? F you're so fucking gay for Brian. Stacy kept doing what she does best, digging into other secrets. She sent pictures of little shits, diary pictures for me. That's how I found out that a little trip to Cotton Hill. It was her, our hideout since first year of high school, and her presence turned it into fucking nothing. How could we do this to us? The only way to break them apart to show Brian was a creep what, was a, what a creep she was. kept reading the disgusting words she wrote on her, dry, on her diary. At the same time, I felt something. A reminder of how I felt when I fell for B. Yeah, she just... How I felt so right and terribly wrong. Screaming to my pillow never helped with making the feelings go away. You're so gay. You're so... Did you find the diary? I think you're taking this too seriously. Did you find her or not? You, I think she knows I'm sneaking to her room. I can't find it anywhere. But don't you think you're too obsessed with me breaking down? You're giving out now! Maybe Brian doesn't even like the girl. I said, forget. School counselor called me today. Mr. Fams asked me if the rumors were true. Rumors that I've been leaving hard drawings all over school. Rumors that I've been stalking Brian at this point. The whole school must be out of its mind. I didn't even know the letters in the fucking hard spell S and B. And why just because the initials are S and B it's only every name starts with their with them are either Sam or Brian. Definitely Kyle, yeah, I call him Bay ba Babe. I guess, I guess what even crazier words are even are on the street. Sam Hall, the daughter of a child molester, crazed for a bit in love. Oh my God! How on earth did Stacy find out about that? Why would she do? Why would she do so much to fuck up my life? And where the fuck is she? You know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for Brian to listen to me. I'm tired of looking for words to describe this fucked up situation. I can't believe I had to go through this again so far from home, and so soon. Lies, Brian. Please, please say something. I must admit that's the last note. Jesus Christ, Kyle. Did I remember? She wrote something about her dad. It must have had something to do with her existence in my life. I started dig. I started digging. It wasn't even a challenge. Key hold arrested for sexually assaulting a teenager. It was beautiful. I found the perfect ending. All I had to do was fill in the rest of the story. Okay, is um turns out this isn't Sam's journal. This is Kyle's journal. 
Um, Kyle was fucking gay for Brian. <laughs> yeah, he's hella gay. Yeah, we've been new. <laughs> hold on, what is this? How could Sam Hall not kill herself? If my dad went on the news for touching teenager, that's bye bye word for me. Well, I'll t dude. Sam Holt calls Brian from a payphone in the middle of the night and silently listens to his voice. Man, still can't believe I go to school with a celebrity that Sam's girl got some balls showing up to the class when everyone's talking about her pervy dad. Respect. Jesus Christ, Brian. Th there's, there are paper eyes in my window. Fucking Kyle just got them. Oh my god, Sam Holt takes Brian's picture and keeps it hidden in her locker. Sam Holt draws hearts all over her school to let her know Brian is her. Aha! Uh -huh. Saw that. I can't afford another jump scare, please. I need to see the girl with seri serious issues. She was just a disaster waiting to happen. No one, even Brian, would think otherwise. I made all the preparations while Stacy spread the, the rumors I created. It was never easy, I once almost got caught taking a picture of <sighs> Oh, sorry. I once almost got caught taking a picture of Brian who's in the restroom, that, the one we took, actually. But I kept going. Every picture I took was, had, was a love confession. I could never make... Every heart I drew was a sacrifice for him. And in the end, I got what I wanted. When enough suspicion pile up on Sam. Sorry, sorry, I will, it's uh, 3 a.m. right here, so sorry. <laughs> when enough suspicion piled up on Sam, I stuffed all the pictures I took into her locker. It was happy coincidence that B was there to see the spectacular unfold when it happened. It was over. Things were about to turn back to normal. And then Stacy's drama foul head exploded. Oh! Oh shit. Maybe you can run forever. <laughs> Finally, move on. Okay, there. Well, JK, you're <laughs> She has a sense of you, bro. It's I'm done watching you get away with this shit. <laughs> you have done to me. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? You've been using me to break Sam and Brian apart so you can have some fun with her? I have my share of fun with that old Brian that you've been doing. You should have seen the face he made when I got the part of your drawing those. Oh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> of you drawing those mm, hearts all over the school. Hope you enjoy your happy life now that there's no Brian to get in your way. Oh, by the way, I saw you staring at that college poster. What did you look? What? What did you? You like the girl in the poster too? Is that why you tore her face off? You need help, and don't bother calling me. Stacy, oh, this is to Brian. Um, can I? Of course. Can I read again? Thank you. I guess the diary ends. Please, man. Stacy got it all wrong. It's just a misunderstanding. I was trying to prevent sound from bringing you into your head. Please, you don't do this. Please, me back, please. Oh, you fucked up. You fucked 
dumb, dumb bitch. The day Stacy told Brian was the last day he talked to me. He was so angry at me. He would have never understood what I did for him. Typical. So fucking typical. I, get what was, I was left alone to suffer. This time someone had to pay for it. Oh no. Her. This time someone had to pay for it. And you. Oh. You did it. You put the note. Oh my god, you bastard. Oh. oh. Can I please do it? Oh my god, he put the note. Son of a bitch. Okay, I'll go in. Hello? Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. What is that? Oh my god, you kill her. You fucking kill her. <laughs> you to you, you, you think quickly to get rid of evidence, but I can't get there. Oh, right, branch. That's why you got all the pages. Ryan prepared for the match with Hammer Heads, and once again, there was a pre consult session with the Yeah, Yeah, he took her journal.
Can I? Hello. I'm walking. Where am I? Hello. What the? Wait, what did I see? I saw something. Oh. Ah yes, closet. Oh. <laughs> Get it? Get it? I came out of the closet. <laughs> a bit of sense of humor from the game. It was. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. Leave me alone. <laughs> it was an accident. I never meant to kill her. Or maybe I did. Did I? But does it matter now? The ADO when I did matter? I left the team soon after what happened at Colton. After that, the school. From what I've heard, Brian easily got accepted to the university. He left town right after graduation. The fact that she says that he's a star athlete with notable school record worked like a charm. He's been growing the idea of leaving Rogues and Peaks since his mom died. Living alone with his obnoxious dad didn't help much with being attached to his hometown. We never got to talk about it seriously, but I didn't really want to. But every time he hinted about leaving, I tried so hard to ignore what it meant for me. Even those college posters all over the school were laughing at me, they were making fun of the impending doom, they were all saying, Haha, see? You're gonna die alone here. That's why she, that's why he tore it off. Maybe I knew. I knew that B took an interest in Sam because he was just a clueless new girl who was lovely enough to do anything for any guy who was nice to her. But jealousy is a strong creature. It quickly devoured my mind, soon anger took control of me. And I just needed someone to be mad at other than Brian. Even after he left me, anger stayed. It devoured me whole. And again, it's time to wait. But wake up from what? To be greeted by the fact that I must start running around in circles again, that I must stick needles into my body so I can forget my past for the few fucking minutes that that explains that. It's just like that story we last lastly once told us about. The shortest horror story in the world. The last man or nerd heard a knock on the door. I'm alone in my room. I'm alone in this world. There's someone knocking on the door. I don't know who it is, but I keep the door locked. No one comes in, no one goes out. I'm so tired. Just wanted to end. Let's just wake up. Just open the door. I don't care who or what's waiting for me. But what about my diary? The one I've been keeping to remind myself how am I the victim of everything that's happened? Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, Kyle. I don't know what I could, what I would do without it. What will keep me from going insane? So here comes the big question. Should I keep it? I don't know, should you? Yeah, I might go win now, yeah. This shit just the stuff of nightmares, oh no. <laughs> There you go. Now it's time to admit, I've been keeping a memory of lies. I'm the only one to blame for the shit I had to deal with. Very good. Yeah, that's evidence. It's about time I burned it. Yeah, you gotta get rid of all the evidence. But what after that? I could open the door out of here, face whatever for you for me. Or I could just stay with the fire and let it go. Whatever the choice, it's time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, fuck.
fuck's sake. Yeah, cops. Oh, oh hi, Sam. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I say from aside from paratopic, this one was super fucking nice. <laughs> Holy shit, I got super immersed in that. Holy shit. The, the, the scares were so fucking cool too. Like everything was... <laughs> everything caught me off guard and that is, that is super nice. Except the one in the mirror, that was predictable. But the rest was fucking amazing. <laughs> Because you start as Freelance, like, she's Sam. 